Hi, this is Elliot for Workload. In this video, we'll be building a workflow starting with a new paid order in Shopify. Then we're going to filter that response through our AI formatter by workload. And finally, we're going to create a new spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. Okay, it's time to make a workflow. So we're going to start here at the workload editor and we're going to give our workflow a title. So this is going to be Shopify to Sheets. And it's going to start simply enough by selecting our trigger, which is going to be in Shopify. And our event is going to be a new paid order. So this workflow will trigger whenever there is a new paid order in Shopify. I'm going to connect to my Shopify account. I'm going to test this trigger to see if there are any new paid orders. And we have a response. But as I'm looking at this response, I can see that a lot of the response is contained within an array. So in order to be able to pull the information from this response and put it into Google Sheets, I need to make this response a little bit more simple. So what I can do is click continue on this step and I'm going to add an action but instead of from our apps I'm going to select from our tools and I'm going to use the AI formatter by workload and format the data so some of the data I want is going to be information about who is buying my product in Shopify I can find that information here in the billing address array and then what I can tell my AI formatter to do as a prompt is create a separate flat response from this array. So I'm going to click continue and test this action. Now we have a successful response that has all the information about the buyer of my product in a simple, easy to understand format. So I'm going to click continue. So I'm going to add another step using my AI formatter because I also want information about the product that was being sold. So this is also going to be the AI formatter by workload and format the data. But now I'm going to take information from the same step one. I'm going to grab information from the line items array and paste in that same prompt and then test this action. And now we have the information about that product in the easy to understand response. So now that I have that data is formatted, I can click continue, can add another step, and this is gonna be in Google Sheets. And I'm gonna create a spreadsheet row I'm going to sign to my Google account. I'm going to choose the spreadsheet I want this information to go into, which is going to be my order spreadsheet. Sheet one. And then in order to add the data, I'm going to click inside this add to box. I'm going to select my columns one at a time. So first is going to be the name of the buyer, and that's going to come from our step two. Coot McCoy, we're going to add another column. This is going to be the billing address. So that's also from step two. And it's going to be address, space, city, comma, space, the province code, which is state code, and then the zip code. Add to again. And now these columns have to do with the product being sold. So this is going to come from step three. So the name of the product, I'm going to add to, select the column price. That's going to come from step three, $100. Add to one last time, 
column quantity and select five. Now I'm going to click continue. I'm going to test that action. We have a success. I can come over to my Google Sheet and you can see that information was imported into my spreadsheet. So now I can come back to the workload editor, click continue on this last step. So now I see a green dot in the upper corner of each of my nodes. And then I can turn on my workflow to activate it. And every time I get a new paid order in Shopify, it will format that data and then create a new spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. That's how you can create a workflow that takes advantage of our AI formatter by workload in order to convert a new paid order in Shopify into a spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. Please like and subscribe this video if you want to get more content from Workload about how to make your business practices flow more smoothly. And I'll see you next time.